Well, um, I was thought maybe I should... Okay, first of all, I want you to know I'm going to talk about this dress that I have on. It's not a prop for you judges. <laughs> okay? It's not a prop, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to uh, let it come out. Okay, so... Um, my story goes back to about uh, uh, 13 years ago, maybe about 2000. My husband and I took a trip to Paris. And um, I bought this hot dress in Paris. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> no idea what I paid for it. Not a clue. Their money is different than ours. Didn't really, <laughs> didn't really give a shit either. I had a... I had an expense account, so it didn't really matter. I was back in the day, corporate America. Yeah. Sold cheese. There's a lot of money in cheese, in case you're wondering about that. But <laughs> back to the dress. So I buy this dress, and it's a little bit snug, but I can get in it. And uh, my husband's like, yeah, I think you should buy that dress. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So, you know, the years go on, and there's all this, like, okay, I'm at, I was at that age, like, this whole menopause shit starts happening, and, <laughs> and pretty soon, like, I'm 25 pounds more than what I am today, okay? So, when I gain weight, I get, like, extra chins. It skips my boobs, of course. <laughs> and then it just kind of goes from here to here. So the Paris dress had to go and hang in the closet for a while. And it, was, it would always be my goal, like every once in a while, I'd try to slip it on. And I'd get it about up to here, and then I'd be like, shit, I can't wear that Paris dress. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to go eat a Hershey bar. Piss on it. <laughs> so, so anyway... Um, as the years progressed, and it was always my husband's dream that I'd get this dress back on someday. So the years progressed, and um, I, I lost some weight. But uh, before that happened, sorry, um, I'm walking around Walmart one day, and I'm not feeling really good about myself, right? <laughs> and I see this sale rack that has, you know, those Spanx things? Yeah. Okay, so it was like a Walmart Spanx thing. And typically those are like quite expensive, but it was on sale for 15 bucks. And I'm like, seriously, 15 bucks. And for you people, guys that don't know about Spanx, they're like a body condom. Think about it. <laughs> you can't freaking move in those things. I don't care. I don't care. You don't go to the bathroom. You do nothing. <laughs> so I buy this $15 Spank. Now, it's a spank that goes, like, from here. So it's like a swimsuit, right? It's caught up in the leg. Okay, so it hangs in the closet for a while. And one night, I'm, I'm sitting around home, and I'm thinking, I bet if I put that cute little Walmart thing on, I bet I can get that Paris dress on. Yeah, so I go in the bedroom, and I... Holy crap, was that hard to do. I'm twisting into that spank. And, and then I'm like, I'm not sure. I hope I got the damn thing on right. And that it's not on backwards, because how am I going to get it off? So what a spank does is it just takes everything you got and shoves it up. In the front and the back. Yeah, OK, so I get it up. And I get it to here, and it takes what little bit I have, shoves it out the back. <laughs> and it goes with my back fat, because it's taken all my back fat and rolled it right back up. <laughs> so I'm like, holy, how do people do this, right? So I, I get the Paris dress, and I, I'm getting the Paris dress on, because it's like harder than hell to bend in this thing. And I'm sliding that Paris dress up, and I'm like, oh, I got the Paris dress on. I, I got it on. Yeah. I don't have it zipped yet, but it's on. So I got it up. I got my arms in. I'm like, yeah, this is good. It's good. All right. So I get the back zipped up about to the waist. And I look down, and I have, like, these big pockets here. 
Because I didn't buy that spank that went down your legs. I bought the one. So what didn't go up went down. Yay, thank you. <laughs> so I have the dress on. I get it zipped up about to the waist, and I can't go any farther. So my daughter at this time is about 17, maybe, and she's downstairs in her bedroom. Now, I live in a bi-level house, so I got, like, stairs, then stairs, and I, I got this thing, and... And this dress is really frickin' tight around the legs, and so I'm going downstairs. <laughs> and she's on the phone, of course, because she's a snotty, bratty teenager then. <laughs> and I come walking in her room like I can't get my legs to really go apart. And I'm, like, motioning, zip me up. Will you zip me up? And she's like... I go... Just zip me up a little. <laughs> and she's like, okay. And so she tries to zip me up, but there's way too much back fat back there. <laughs> and there's that, like, 32A cup that pushed to the back. And, and she's looking at me, and I'm like, maybe if I bought those spanks that came down the leg, and she's like, <laughs> hangs up the phone. Now I know. This is not good. <laughs> she hung up the phone. She's like, what the hell are you doing? I go, I'm, I got my Paris dress on. And she's like, seriously, Mom? Seriously? I go, well, maybe if I bought those longer... She goes, honest to God, Mom, here's the deal. When you die, I promise you that we will bury you in that Paris dress... Because I hear that when you're dead, they don't zip the back up. <laughs> <laughs>